Hi everyone, in this episode of Take Charge Now, I'm doing things a little differently. I often talk about financial mistakes that you might be making, but shouldn't be. Or we may focus in on how to change your money mindset, what the millionaire out there does differently than the rest of us, and the list goes on and on. I know as well, there has been a tremendous amount of focus on recession-proofing your life. How do you get by when inflation is so high? And in a rising interest rate environment, what does this mean to your household? But what if you get it right? What if you are financially savvy and you know that what we're going through in terms of maybe interest rates, higher inflation, a rocky economic outlook isn't forever. It is for right now. The financially savvy are doing a lot of things right and you might be one of them. Here's what they do. Do you fall into this camp? You know how much money you have coming in. You know exactly what it is you're spending your money on. You're making adjustments. You've cut back on your discretionary spending and you don't care about keeping up with the Joneses. You're worried about your household. That's all that matters. And you do know that we've been through economic downturns before. We've been through high interest rate environments before and inflation while very high, yeah, we've been there before as well and we will get to a better place. Also, those who are really financially savvy know the difference between good debt and bad debt. Now, debt is debt and it does have to be paid off, but good debt is often when you borrow in order to build up your financial wealth and it's often associated with an asset. You're buying an asset that creates wealth. Bad debt is typically when you borrow to consume, full stop. Now the next area that the financially savvy do, it's all about diversification. You will never find this group of people putting all of their money in one company, in one country, in one sector, in one currency. They don't put all their eggs in one basket. They will look for ways to diversify, not only their investments, but if they're borrowing as well, they're not putting everything on a high interest credit card. They may look for ways to get a lower rate that they have to pay or consolidate, diversify. If you work for a company, you have a pension with a company, you invest in the company, you're likely to expose to that company. And this group knows it. Also, I've, I've had a chance to talk to so many people and they know what their financial weakness is. A financial weakness is something where you just spend mindlessly. You don't change that behavior and you do it over and over and over again. Now, when you change that behavior, it's usually because you've decided to create a new habit with that money. I can't tell you exactly what your financial weakness might be, but this group of people knows what it is. They will not go shopping on an empty stomach, that type of thing. And finally, do you have financial goals? It is an interesting question because when you have a financial goal, it will light you up. It will excite you. It will change your behavior. And people who are financially savvy always, always have a goal. They create a goal, they create a plan to support that goal, they revise the goal, and then they create a new goal. And that's just how you get what I've often talked about, that power of momentum. So the question I have for you, are you in the camp of being financially savvy? And if you answer yes, when was the last time you gave yourself a pat on the back to say, in an environment when so much feels out of control, you are controlling what you can. And that to me, that is financial wellness.